Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to load Indian utensils in a dishwasher. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of misconception that uh, dishwashers are not useful for Indian utensils, but that's absolutely not true because uh, the dishwasher that I have here, uh, I'm, I've been using it since the lockdown and it has served me pretty well. So yeah, about the dishwasher, I'll do an extensive review sometime later. But for now, we'll concentrate on how to load all of this into the dishwasher. Let's take a look at the different items that I have here. So as you all know, this is like a dood ka patela. And then I have some regular cups. And I also have steel kadais over here. So this looks in a pretty bad condition. I mean, there's food that is stuck all over the kadai. And yeah, one more, one important thing is like uh, before loading all the utensils in your dishwasher, uh, you need to run them through plain water at least once to get rid of all the stuff. Uh, I mean, f not the sticky stuff, but at least uh, things that can be easily pulled off. Uh, you can take that off uh, so, so that uh, your dishes get cleaned effectively. And then uh, here I, I have some regular steel plates. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, so for now, we'll just load all of this into the dishwasher and choose a cycle that suits all of these utensils. And then we'll see the results. All right, so let's go ahead and open the door. And let me just pull the camera a little bit back so that you can see what's happening. So uh, this one is the upper tray where we'll place all the cups and maybe the uh, small bowls and stuff like that. And in the bottom compartment, uh, I think this is not in view. So in the bottom compartment, this is the place where we'll be ar arranging the dishes. And on this side, uh, this is again a place for placing the dishes, but it can be folded. So over here, I will be uh, placing the huge, uh, the patela that I have and uh, also the kadai that I have. So yeah, let's get started. And yeah, one one important note, uh, I mean, you should go through your dishwasher's manual and uh, also see the kind of utensils that you can actually wash in the dishwashers because uh, there are certain types, I mean, uh, utensils that are made out of uh, aluminium and certain materials that you cannot load in the dishwasher. And uh, yeah, I mean, they could damage your dishwasher or uh, your utensils could get bad. So do read your user manual and then decide accordingly. But uh, mostly s steel and then ceramic things, uh, these are all okay. So yeah, let's get to the loading part. So all the plates can be vertically placed in this rack. stuff uh, that's larger in size uh, like this kadai can be placed in the bottom shelf over here and then in the top top compartment i've added a, a few cups and even this uh, patela is good to go over here. so i'm gonna pause the video for a while and i'll load the entire thing and then explain you uh, where i've placed what Alrighty, so I'm done with loading all the utensils that I had for now. Uh, so in the top compartment, if you see, I've got uh, two patelas over here and then a few, uh, uh, a few bowls and a few cups on the other side and also a steel glass. And in the compartment below that, I've uh, lined up the dishes. 
so these one are the bigger ones and over here we have uh, the smaller ones lined up and this is the place where you need to place all your spoons and stuff so all of that has gone there and lastly the kadai that was heavily soiled uh, it's kept in a separate i mean part so yeah let's get started i mean we'll, i'll push this in and uh, there's one important thing that you also need to uh, take care of so let me just take this camera off so inside the machine if you see there are these uh, yeah there are these fans so uh, indian utensils could be a little huge in size so just ensure that the movement of this fan is not blocked there is one more at the bottom uh, so even this needs to move freely so just ensure that not, none of that is blocked okay so now comes the part of loading some dishwashing detergent in the dishwasher and it's similar to uh, what you would do with a regular washing machine so there is a compartment for adding the powder in here uh, you also get some uh, different kind of tablets that you can place even those work fine but uh, i'm going to stick to uh, a brand of powder for now so i've filled it to uh, the limit that's mentioned here and apart from this uh, the, this one is uh, for the rinse aid uh, so the powder is something that you need to fill on a daily basis uh, while you're washing stuff but the rinse aid and uh, the softening salt that you need to do periodically depending on uh, on the kind of machine that you're using and also the kind of water in your area so we'll cover that separately in in the detailed review of this dishwasher but for now just let's just stick to the powder part so we've added the powder and yeah i'm going to close the door and before closing the door uh, here are the different cycles that we have so uh, if you're looking for something uh, rapid then you can choose the rapid cycle but right now i've got some heavily soiled utensils so i'm going to stick with the intensive wash so intensive uh, this is the kind of symbol that we have so i'll switch the program to intensive so this is going to run for 2 hours and 50 minutes so let's go ahead and start the machine all right so 2 hours and 50 minutes are done and uh, the machine is uh, the dishwasher is showing end as the status so it's pretty much done with its uh, washing cycle uh, however we can't open the door right now because uh, there are hot uh, steams in there and uh, it's not very safe as per the instruction manual so we'll give it like 15 or 20 minutes and uh, then uh, we'll open the door and check the status of the utensils that we have in there okay so 15 minutes are done uh, so let's go ahead and open the door and let's see how our utensils have turned out let's look at the toughest item first so uh, this is the kidai that we use for most of our vegetables and uh, as you can see it has turned out pretty good i mean it was in a very greasy and uh, sticky condition when we put it in here but uh, the after effects are pretty good let's take a look at this plate uh, yeah even this one looks pretty neat and here are the spoons that we use regularly so both of them look quite good and in the upper compartment we had kept a few patelas so 
this one is what we use for boiling milk uh, so it's cleaned pretty effectively and then we have our steel bowls and the cup and our regular glasses so yeah uh, overall uh, it's done a pretty go good job even with Indian utensils so it's definitely a must buy if you I mean if you are a small family and you don't want to keep maids and you are more into like doing things on your own so this is definitely a must buy so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more such stuff